In this video, we're going to take you through configuring your modem router. The first thing you're going to need is one of these. For HFC setup, connect your modem to the network termination device via the WAN port of your modem using an Ethernet cable. The port might also be labelled as LAN slash WAN, WAN slash LAN 4, or Internet. Make sure it's plugged into the wall and the power is on. You should see a solid green light for the power icon. Underneath the modem is the SSID or Wi-Fi password. Use this to locate the Wi-Fi name on your computer and then join the network. Now, don't worry. When you successfully join the network, it will say no internet secured. This is because we haven't configured or set it up yet. Open the internet browser on your computer or phone and type in 192.168.1.1. You can also check the bottom of your modem for the correct IP address if that doesn't work. You'll be prompted for a username and password. Ready for it? Username in lowercase is admin. Password in lowercase is admin. You can also check the bottom of the modem. In fact, when in doubt, that's the best place to look. Once logged in, you may need to locate your internet settings sections. Some modem routers have this named as internet, WAN, or network. You will select Ethernet or WAN for HFC services that are connected via an Ethernet cable to a network termination device. If prompted, select your ISP from the list. You can select other. When you come across the setting internet connection type, set it to IPOE or dynamic IP. If it asks you to clone the MAC address, select no. When you come across VLAN, do not enable it. Keep it unchecked or turned off. Generally, the previously mentioned settings are necessary settings for completing your Superloop connection. And if you come across any other settings, simply set them to default. Once done, save the changes that you've made. Upon successful configuration, your modem router will go online within two to four minutes. Please test the service once done.